Welcome Thirsty Grizzlies! Mm. It's time for the April Beers of the Month. My name's Quaid, Jeremy's here. It's his establishment, The yes. Blind Pig, 12th and Lynn and Quincy. Sean... What happened to the shirt? Uh, uh, which shirt are you talking the about? The Blind Pig shirt. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I've had the shirt on all day. Interesting. All right. I should have seen it yesterday. <laughs> Wait, I have no idea. What, this just turned into some kind of angry fashion moment. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. We have uh, another beer from uh, Bend, Oregon. Our buddies at Deschutes have supplied us with uh, a springtime ale. And that's not what it's called. It's a white mm -hmm. IPA. And we had some of this yesterday, guys. But... It's kind of not very IPA, -y, is it, Jeremy? No, they say the reason that they, it's declared an IPA is because of the, uh, the IBUs. Um, so, I guess that's allowed. But it tastes more like a, like a Belgian style, like a, I don't know, like a blonde almost, blonde ale. But it's quite refreshing. So it's good for spring. You know, it's definitely since it's warming up outside, this is, it really quenches your thirst. It's got kind of a citrusy, like almost, a, you know, the, the hop is obviously a citrusy hop, and it's it's got that kind of lemony flavor. So. But good for spring, but yeah, as far as calling it an IPA, I'm not sure I'd go that far. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in the middle. We'll just clear up one thing. Jeremy said IBU. That's International Bitterness Unit. So it's kind of a nerd speak thing, but it, it's how bitter your IPA is. This one, they kind of mixed the different kinds of, of yeast with different uh, hops to make it a little bit more like a vit almost so that it had a more refreshing angle to it. So it's an interesting combination when you think that it's also 5.6% ABV, which is your alcohol by volume. It goes down smooth, it's very fresh, and yet it still has a little bit of that uh, grizzled kick to it at the end that you would think that an IPA would have. See, and that, but that's the thing, if you have told me when you say white IPA, I have an idea in my right. head of what it's going to taste like, right. and this doesn't deliver those things. Right. My preconceived notion of what the the IPA would be. Yeah. If you if you tell me it's kind of a hybrid, something different, maybe I might have jumped at this a, a little quicker. That's probably why they throw the white in front of it. It's a white beer, you know, of ice and uh, you know mixed with an IPA. So, it I guess it kind of comes through with that. But like you said, in the end, you do get the, a little bit of the bitterness. You mm -hmm. get some hops for sure. But. Well, and Quaid, you're a big fan of Belgians. It almost starts out like a Belgian. Yes. Like the Sophia or something from Goose Island would. And, and it starts bigger and bolder in the front. I don't think you need the fruit wedge no. or anything no, no, I would no, go that with far. it. Not it's go that far. citrusy all on its own. Stop by and uh, try it. It's $4 a pint, as usual. $4. The Deschutes White IPA. Come and try it. It's all ready for you to drink after you've mowed the lawn for the first time Absolutely. this year. Come on down to the Blind Pig. It's one of the beers of the month. The other beer on the beers of the month here at the Blind Pig at 12th and Lind comes to us from Boulder Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not had this one before. What's it, it called? It's the <laughs> 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 it's the Mojo. Is it an IPA or is it just a yes, pale ale? Yes, it's an IPA. This is an IPA. It's an IPA. I've had other stuff from Boulder. We've done Boulder beers before. Yeah, we've before. done Boulder. Yep. We did the Hazed Haze and Infused. Infused. That's my favorite. I've had the Hoopla, the Hoopla before, Hoopla but I've never had the Mojo before, so I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, t tell me a little bit about uh, what I'm going to experience here. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot darker in color, uh, especially than the, the white IPA, which is called Chain Breaker. Uh, but yeah, no, this is this is actually a true IPA. You know, when when you hear IPA, you're actually gonna taste this one, and you're actually gonna think, yeah, that's right, I'm drinking an IPA rather than the than the other one. But uh, no, Boulder, you know, every beer, like you said, the couple that we've done are they're just awesome, and this one is no exception. This is the first time that I've had it too um, since we got it on tap. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty solid IPA. It's what'd you say like. 7% or something? 7.2. Yeah, 7.2%. So it packs so a wallop, packs too. Packs a punch. Body's a little lighter than you might expect, right. but they use uh, something called an Amarillo hop, and it's supposed to be both bitter Woo! and citrusy. Woo there you go. <laughs> so, and it really rounds it out in a different fashion. And they're coming up, Mojo coming up, uh, this is the 10-year anniversary of Boulder producing Mojo, so it was a great time to have it on Beers of the Month. And, of course, we always give the history lesson, IPAs, for India Pale Ale, and it's how the British kept beer fresh. They packed it with more hops when they sent it to the Empire in India. So that's why it's more spicy. Yep, it was a natural preservative, so the beer yep. wouldn't go bad by the time it got there. Yep. And yep, it gives it that extra bitterness. This, this is tell. <laughs> the bitters are there. Boy, they it's jump. right on top. But it's very smooth. I mean, it's yep. not there. There aren't any problems with it. It's it's a very smooth drink. And and if you're an IPA fan, this is just it's a different way to approach. 
mm. putting it together. I mean, it, most people, IPAs are the thing. Sure. Well, and yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about it with the chain breaker, too. Everybody's including more of a citrus in what's become kind of a spring IPA season exactly. almost. Yep. So it transitions you from the porters and the stouts in winter to your more summery ales. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Samuel, Samuel Adams, I think, last year with their spring seasonal kind of almost kicked that off as they really started going mm -hmm. with more of a a citrusy but you know very hoppy beer in the springtime yeah. and it is it's a good transition to your from your darker beers into your you know your lighter wheats and your you know your summertime beers but this one is it's pretty solid it's mm -hmm. really good beer.